Good evening. A Parkdale High School is at the center of a racism investigation after a teacher showed up to class wearing blackface. Now parents and students are demanding answers and action, asking how the Toronto District School Board is planning to address this form of anti-black racism. A warning first to viewers, this story does contain offensive images. Honestly, I don't know what was going through his head. Uh, I don't think he thought it real through. A day of Halloween fun quickly turned to racism at Parkdale Collegiate Institute when a teacher pictured here came to class in blackface on Friday. Students say the grade nine business teacher who is white should have known better. He told students around the school he was a zombie, but it didn't, I don't know, I've never seen a zombie like that before. That was a terrible thing to be done. Parents say students were traumatized, sending photos of the teacher in blackface. I went to the school and went and spoke to the vice principal and asked what was being done. Adding it took longer than it should have for the school and staff to address this act of anti-black racism after students complained. I think the bottom line is that he was able to, you know, get through those front doors, into a classroom, seen by other adults, and nobody held him accountable immediately. The school sent a letter notifying parents of an incident of anti-black racism. The teacher was apparently told to remove the black face painting in the afternoon and is now on paid leave as an investigation is completed. The ramifications of that could include disciplinary action up to and including termination. How could something like this happen, especially a teacher in blackface? You know, and, and that's what's so frustrating about this. We have, not only have we had conversations about uh, racism, anti-black racism, anti-oppression, we've had those conversations for a number of years now. An online petition was also started and shared with the school, but the parents say they haven't had an official response in their request for a meeting. This is connected to what the TDSB themselves have identified as deeply entrenched anti-black racism within the Toronto District School Board. So this is about the culture of how our school systems are operating. Was this a case of the teacher doing this intentionally or does the TDSB not have enough training for staff and teachers? You know, I, I think we do have training, professional learning for all of our staff uh, to look at something like this. Uh, but I, and I think common sense would tell you, uh, not only training, but common sense is you don't do that anymore. Um, I, I can tell you, though, that we too want answers, regardless of whether it was intended or not. We, we take a zero tolerance approach to that kind of thing. The petition laying out a number of calls to the TDSB, transparency, accountability, calling for a diverse workforce who understands issues of racism and inequality, and there needs to be a, a faster way for students to be able to talk, uh, anonymous way for students to be able to um, talk about these kinds of things. They shouldn't have to text their parents. And we did reach out to the Ontario College of Teachers. They tell us that they are aware of this incident, but by law cannot confirm or deny whether or not any complaints against the teacher have been filed or whether or not an investigation has been or will be started. We spent the day speaking with students here uh, and all of them, many of them tell us that they're, uh, they are disappointed. They also say that some of their teachers did spend the day speaking about this incident to them. The TDSB telling us that they're looking to complete this investigation as quickly as possible.